Hello from Alderman Farms. Hello. Yes, we're in Mississippi, but we're feeling Louisiana tonight. For supper, we got us uh, some fried catfish coming up. This is cauliflower you're looking at right here. Fried cauliflower. Yeah, and I wanted to uh, tell everybody, oh, let me have my little apron on. All right, I got to figure out how to drive this thing. I've got... He's got him a new gadget. I got a new gadget. Mike Mike talked me into it. Mike from Living on a Dime. Yeah, Look. we've got a lot of Mike's. We've got to say their last name. Yeah. <coughs> not, anyway. not Mike Jones from Red Duchess. His name is not Mike. Mark. Ha-ha. You're right. Oh, going it. I'm going call, the wrong way. I wanted to call him Mike too, <laughs> because uh, okay, uh, all the mics. But anyway, <clears throat> the fried cauliflower. I just have a milk and egg mixture. All right, I'm gonna try to show it. Okay. And um, you just take it. And this is my homemade fish fry, and um, you just dip it in your egg and milk mixture and put it in here. And this is seasoned fish fry. So anyway. This is my uh, fish waiting. I actually uh, put some mustard on it, and then we put it in the fish fry. It helps the fish fry to stick. So let me show you the cauliflower. It's starting to get a little brown. Let me uh, reach up here past you. All right. Y'all, I'm sorry about this thing going every which way. The, right the buttons are uh, counterintuitive to me. Hmm. I don't see my... Uh, so if I want to look down, I push it down. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I would do. That's not counterintuitive. But anyway, see here's the cauliflower starting to get brown. And I thought this was going to be our appetizer. So we're having all fried food just about tonight. It's a bad for your meal. We don't have this even once a month. That one's starting to get done. See how it's starting to turn brown. Yeah, but this is we not the appetizer. No, but this is what I had thought. We would just snack on this while I was cooking the fish and the french fries. But, um... Tommy surprised me. Uh, I'm not asking how much you paid for this either because this time of year uh, is not the time of year you're it's supposed to be buying Too this. much. <laughs> well, what are you pointing to? I'm coming, I'm coming. And look what we had There's, to eat. Corey's with not us. Corey. We're we not don't, Corey. We don't have Corey to eat, but all no. I had to do was tell him what we had to eat, and he came a running. Ready? Oh, North Dakota pink. I'm just using some kind of vegetable oil. Nothing it's canola special. oil. Oh, it's, it's, it's canola, canola oil. Canola was cheaper than regular vegetable okay, oil. Okay, well, it's probably because it's GMO, but anyway. Look a here, look a here. Bald crawfish. So we've got a local uh, seafood establishment here in Brookhaven, and we just love the folks. And they have, they're have they from Louisiana originally, and so they've they got... They know how to do crawfish. They know how to do crawfish. And I went there to get some catfish fillets, but when I walked in, they were boiling crawdads, and, and the whole place smelled like crawfish. Very good marketing strategy. And I could, yeah, I told them, I said, y'all got quite the scheme working here, um, because anybody that comes in there to buy anything else, and they smell this crawfish, if, they, if they're crawfish people like we are, they're going to come out of here with some crawdads, and these are pretty good size, too. And so we're gonna we're gonna demonstrate how to eat these, <laughs> and I want to dedicate this video to Tara Jean from Living on a Dime. Oh, and Mike, Mike just loves seafood, so yeah, that's very sarcastic. So never had it. How do you eat it? They want to know. So all right, we want you to go sit over there. I will. I'm gonna go sit over here. You set the camera right there. I'll set the camera right here. And he's gonna. And I guess I'll just leave it turned this way right now. No, yeah, well you gotta turn it. No, I'm talking about, uh, let's see. I may have to get Patty to tell me whether or not. That one kind of tastes like dirt. Let me move it back a little more. I probably should have put this on a tripod. You probably should have, but you wanted to play with your little thing. Yeah, I wanted to play. Oh, wrong way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, with Tommy working this, I can't hide any uh, piles of uh, mess. No. It shows everybody. All right, so. Try to check the check the uh, camera right quick. Whoa! Try not to fall. And yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. I wear a shirt. I wear a shirt till it falls apart. What are you talking about? Nobody's said. The last few videos I've had the same shirt on. Why are we just throwing this on top of here like that? Well, because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Well, so we could be throwing it in the bag. That's a good idea, babe. Don't you do that? All right, so. Now, I'm going to show you the way a beginner, I need to make sure everybody can see this, Patty. Okay. 
I'm going to show you the way that we would instruct a beginner to do this. Yes, you can't right. see your whole face, but you can see. Can you see the crawfish? That's what Yeah, in your it. hand, yeah, you can All see right. your crawfish. So, the way that I would teach a beginner to do this is to break the tail off right here. Oh, and see those, you got to keep the big claws. They're good. All right, so there's a nice hunk of meat that came out, and we're after the meat that's inside the tail. That's and the so, so, a foolproof way to get that out of there um, regardless of how, because let me tell you this, if they're cooked just the right amount of time, I could actually pull it out from right here by squeezing down here at the bottom of the tail. Tori, open that for me, please. But sometimes they don't want to come out and they break off in there and that's aggravating. So to make sure that they come out, you could take this top ring right here, this first ring of the armor of that tail and peel that off. And you gotta have a Louisiana, you gotta have homemade hot sauce to go with it. Cause yeah. if they're not hot enough, and I like mine hot, so. So now I've taken that first ring off of there, then I'm gonna grab it like this and pinch it right down here at the bottom and it'll pop right out. Mm. And they do a good job. So, but you see, Corey is just eating more than his fair share already. So that's the way yeah, I like to like, do it. Yeah, he's like, keep talking, keep demonstrating, Dad. He saves time. Cameron was on the, uh, I heard. The video earlier. And so, if they're cooked right, and KBC food tends to always cook them right. Yep, they got it there. They come right out without having to pull that, so I just grab this little piece with my teeth. Oops, I lied. It didn't come out right? Uh-uh. I've been doing the first ring though. You have? Well, that was the first one that didn't come out just right. Now, I went to, uh, I went to college with a couple of little coonies that come from Patterson, Louisiana. And I have never seen anybody put crawfish away like those little guys did. So I'm just going to show you the, oh. I, can't, I can't say that it's the Cajun way to eat them, because they're the only ones I ever saw do this. It just might have been a Patterson, Louisiana way to do it, or it just might have been the way that Marty and uh, Gerald uh, ate them. But they didn't waste time peeling the tails. They would pinch the tail and pop the whole thing in their mouth. Shell and all. So they could eat an awful lot of crawfish. Now, normally, I make my own little dipping sauce to go with this. But I went live before I thought about putting it together. And it's simply a, a, he a healthy mixture of mayonnaise, <laughs> ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce. Oh, mayonnaise, God. ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce. That was mustard. No, no mustard. Hey, everybody. Everybody saying hello. Oh, you know what? I was going to put it on over here. Let's okay. see if I can do that. No, oh, somebody. Uh, let's see. Self Nana said yum, yum. Hmm. Hey. Pia says, uh oh. I made, okay, there. Pia says, crawfish folks, North Dakota Pig said, never had, never had it how you eat it. So. Yeah, the, uh, of course, a lot of people are familiar with, uh, maybe familiar with, like, crawfish etouffee or crawfish chowder or different dishes. Uh, North Dakota Pink asked if this is Cameron, the one that lives in Oregon. No, this is Corey. This is my youngest son. Cameron's my oldest son, and he's the one in Oregon. I'm the good-looking one. Oh, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Homestead Heart said, Lord, have mercy. I love me some crawfish, born and raised in Louisiana, raised Louisiana lady. Well, that's great. I know you're missing them. These are, so, these are pretty pricey. I don't want to know how much you pay. We do like to boil our own, you know. Here's but my hot sauce. I put ketchup in hot sauce. And look at, see these claws right there? Yeah, see, claw? I'm not interested in and hot sauce. You got to suck the juice out of them. Look at those claws, honey. Mm. Grab them. Thanks, buddy. Patty, I get I give the claws to Patty because to me there's not enough Watch. payoff. And see what can you see that? Oh look at that. See I'm pulling that out. 
See, that's some meat right there. And you, oh, it's really hot and spicy. And the shells are so soft, you can break them open with your teeth and get them out. We're out of practice, but... They don't seem out of practice to me. But look, see that meat come out? Mmm. Now, give me a big one. Find me a big one. Ooh, look at that's that. my claw. Yeah. I need a big crawdad. I need Tommy to, likes the giant ones. I, I need to find a big giant crawdad up in yard to show them. The, okay, so this is big enough. So that sucking is me getting the juice out of that. Taking the claw. taking the tail off. Eating the tail. Uh, You'll find a lot of Cajuns that have a long fingernail. No, that's so gross, Tommy. That they, they keep a long fingernail on their pinky finger, or, or whichever. If they're right-handed, it'll be on their right hand. If they're left-handed, it'll be on their left hand. And if you ever see that, it's not, it's most likely not for snorting cocaine. Because I know people used to do that in the 80s. No, it's for taking that finger and reaching down into the head of this crawfish. I never heard that. Yeah. And pulling out any remaining fat. good stuff, which is fat. Mmm. And as we all know, the fat is where the flavor is, right? So going by that, I'm pretty flavorful. <laughs> all right. Do they want to see me fry fish? I want to see y'all keep eating crawfish. I don't know. I probably need to see you fry fish, but I'm afraid to touch the camera. I will. I'll come touch it and move it. You will wash your hands. I will. Slow down, Corey. I'm out of the game for a minute. Yeah, y'all got to do Yeah, I bet. I haven't got to eat near as much as y'all. We're not going to want to have fish. All right, where are you going to stand at, Patty? Right here. Do you I'm just going to turn it around. No, we can't get it to come out. This is what I like to do is dip like that. Because I just put them in there and take it around. All right. We might have lost Except connection. We lost connection briefly because Carly Ann called. Text her right quick. Well, your hands are dirty, too. She's going to call again. Hey, All right, Patty, so. Text Carly Ann. The video's about to right here. Hi. Where We're using Mom's phone to go live on YouTube. Uh, okay. I was just going to ask Dr. Mom to come this weekend. Um, tomorrow sometime. Tell everybody on YouTube, hey. Hey, everybody. Yes, Carly Ann. Carly said, hey, everybody. All right, love okay, you. Bye. Love you. Love bye. Okay, drop the fish in. I always squeeze like that, and most of the fat stuff squirts out. Mm. So, look, you pinch it down here, kind of high up, and Gosh. don't come out. This is some of my cornmeal that I ground myself. Some of it's a little big. So it's small. Oh, I left it. <laughs> and um, I just noticed. And in my fish fry, all I do, I don't need any I shouldn't have showed you that. I just put um, salt, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and, and some Tony's, which is a Cajun seasoning that I has a little noticed. red pepper in it. Black I kind of push it back in my mouth so. to get my tooth as far up in there as I can. Anyway. Oh, I don't know. It rarely doesn't work for me. I thought I did just the amount of fish to fit in this pan. I hope I, hope I better get it all in there. That's Corey, Pia. And uh, Pia, uh, Corey Pia said Cameron's got it down. I said, no, I that's Corey. Him. But Corey. Pia's pretty good, too. You mean Cameron? Huh? You mean Cameron's pretty good, too? Yeah, Cameron is pretty good, too. I guess. I don't know if he gets it in Oregon or not. No, I wouldn't think he got boiled crawfish in Oregon. I'm sure he can get it at the food truck. I don't store. know. They get all kind of uh, they get all kind of cuisines up there in Portland. Portland's kind of a interesting place. They they get all kind of food stuff. Oh, I got one more that I'm trying to fit in there. I'm trying to fill my pot up a little too much. Now, you want to wash my hands. All right, cool. We gotta slow down. Make sure Mom has some. Yeah, eating all the crawfish over there. 
We could all. Can you see this, Corey, on the, on the mm -hmm. camera? This is the fried cauliflower. You want it nice and brown like that? Oh. Hello? Like that. So. <clears throat> All right, I'm not sure if the chat's still working. The last thing I see is, is Homestead Park. Lord have mercy, love me some crawfish. It's 6.13 p.m., which, I don't know, there might not be anybody watching anymore. They might have got tired of watching us stuff our face. Because I'm not frying in multiple pots or anything, what I do, I'll just put it in the oven. I've had the oven on. So it's warm. So I'll just sit these in the oven so they'll stay warm. I don't eat them all. So. Now, back with some crawfish. All right. all right. Let me see if I can work this thing. Wait, wait. I think I may. Uh... No, Pia says they're watching. Okay, good. Oh, Leave I can it just... over there, and I'm going to uh, come. I'm going to come mix up my sauce. Well, you're going to need to. Why don't you mix it up right here? All right, I'm gonna let you drive the camera. Well, I don't know what buttons go. Well, this button right here. Uh huh. Okay. And if you want the camera to go right, no, it's like a joystick. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, there you okay. Go. All right. So let me get my. Let me get me a bowl. Oh, it goes pretty quick. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Hey. Oh, well, let's see. Jedi. J E D I. Jetta. Jane. Tommy. It's J E D I. Jetta. J J D I is Jedi, like Jedi Jane. Okay, Jedi Jane. If you're a new subscriber, you don't know that I don't spell very well, and I can't pronounce things really good. So, but Tommy's an English major, so I always get help from him. So, thank you for subbing to us. We appreciate that very much. Um, Jedi Jedi Jane says she's very happy to see Corey the hero. She just stumbled across the story. Nice he, job, Corey. Yeah, he is my hero. <laughs> Tell her thank you. Thank you. All right, you want to get the camera like it can go? It's looking right there. All right, so here are the magic ingredients. Oh, thank you, Pia. She likes my apron. Uh, the fish is just catfish. Um, I, I prefer another kind of fish, but that's all I have. Uh oh, sorry, North Dakota pink. We're making her hungry. Yeah, look, you're lucky we don't have smell o vision. Hey, retired and prepping. They're from Tennessee. Thank you for joining us. Because smell vision is what got me. Yeah, North Dakota Pig, this is a very fattening meal. And we don't do it very often, but we do enjoy it, so. And we're all going to run to town afterwards. Hmm. Not really. Literally. I don't have a recipe for this. I just kind of do it by sight and by taste. The table. I'm looking for a certain consistency. I sometimes end up making way more than I want because I mess up and have to add more of each to get the consistency <laughs> right. It doesn't need to be too runny. Hey, Bob Homestead. Okay, yeah, I know, Corey, Corey, I fuss at him, and especially fuss at him if I don't eat it all. And I use a fork to, yeah. get, the, to get the mayonnaise out because a fork mixes better than a spoon does. So he's not dirty and more dishes for me. Hey, um, Tommy, uh, North Dakota Pink says, is that sauce good for fish as well? Absolutely. That's why I'm doing it. I'm about finished eating crawfish and Corey needs to stop. And corn dogs. Yeah. It's great for corn dogs. Hey, Tommy likes ketchup. They like that sauce with anything. Anything you use ketchup for. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like my own comeback sauce. I don't know if y'all got ref. Hey, maybe I'll market that at the market. Maybe I'll sell it at the well, market. Tommy's the problem sauce. is we need to figure out a recipe. But this is, it looks like I may have gotten this one right on the first try. See, you should measure things, babe. He did. I wish I could measure this because this looks right. Well, that's what I'm saying. You should have measured your ingredients each time you put it in there. I can tell by the color when it's going to taste right. And then, obviously, the taste is my first consideration. And then consistency is the next consideration because I don't want it to be too runny. I want it to stick on whatever you're dipping. And see, that consistency is just about right. And the color is perfect. So, yay. And I don't care for that sauce, but I think every one of the kids like it. I'm not sure if Chelsea likes it or not. It's it's rare when I get it right the first go round, and don't have to add more stuff to it. How do you uh, update that? 
But I still may add, I still may add, I love the taste of, the Refreshing. taste that the Worcestershire sauce no, yeah, adds to thing. it. Yeah, the chat's not right. Because the chat's going up on the phone, but not on this. Mm. Yeah, see, I hate to do this, but. Need any more? Yeah, just for the flavoring. It's probably going to make it too. Well, you put too much too in running. a little bit. Plus, I'm going to tell you that we've been using, when we do, and we ought to be making our own mayo, but when we buy mayo, we have been using an mm -hmm. olive oil-based mayo, and it's fine on sandwiches and things like that, but I can taste it in here. Oh, come I can. On. I can. I can taste the difference in there. There's something a little different about it. Well, let's do, what's the sear sauce don't go bad, does it? Yeah. Well. I mean, this is probably real old, too. Yeah. So it may be that the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce is, the Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce is. I don't see the date. Up. If Therese was here, she could find the date. She could find the date on anything. Did you shake it well? Look at all that stuff on the bottom. You didn't shake it up good. I thought I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Um, that's pretty good. It's not quite right, but it's close enough. I don't see I don't see the date on there. I'm sure I don't know that. If I keep trying, right. I'll have a five gallon bucket of it. Of course that don't I don't mind it when I have too much. No. Because then uh yeah, Pia said ketchup and mayo is Thousand Island. Pretty close. Patty's actually got a home a recipe. She actually makes uh I tell you what, I've got, I had um, some some hard skin on my finger, and I peeled it off, and ooh, these crawfish. I'm burning it. Somebody, North North Dakota Pink wants to know how many pounds, I guess she's talking to me, do I think I had. Well, crawfish, I only uh, bought five pounds, and so, you know, I don't know. I ate a couple of pounds or a pound or something, but I can tell you my personal record is 10 pounds, me, by myself. And, um, you know, it's, I, show how I, eat my, uh, claws. I think we, uh, you suck it you get the juice out. when we, when we buy crawfish to boil, the formula we use is five pounds per person. So that whole tray is what we estimate per person when we're buying crawfish to boil. You pull it out. Sometimes it has the meat there. But then more meat in that inside. Oh, you're going to do it again. I was on your lovely face. I wasn't watching your hands. So do one more. But see how the... Where my claw go? The meat is down up in here. You have to dig it out with the... It's a little bitty taste of meat, but it's very, very flavorful. It is very flavorful, but see, I'm a guy that... Uh, it's why I'm not a big fan of crabs. Yeah, you don't eat crabs. Patty and, uh, Patty and Mama love crabs, but to me it's too much work for little... And Julie, too. Too oh, much work crab. for too little payoff. Crab is amazing. I prefer to eat my crab in a gumbo. <laughs> I go check the fish. All right, Patty's gonna go come check the fish, so we'll come check it with her. How about that? <laughs> Ooh, my fingers burning. Ooh, it's getting kind of brown. Oops, oh, yeah. wrong way. Fish is doing good. Turn this light on. Too. A little bit. North Dakota pink, the shell is harder. These are like me, they're like little lobsters. Yeah. If you've ever felt the shell on a lobster, I would say that a crawfish is not quite as hard as a lobster, but they're, everything else about them is. is yeah, they shape just like a yeah, lobster and everything. Everything about them is exactly I mean, you know, the same, except for the, uh, the size of them. Oh, y'all, let me tell you, when we first got married, now, down here in the uh, in Mississippi and Florida and stuff like that, they're, they're better at making seafood. And I, when I say better at it, I mean that they make it more like, I like it, like Louisiana. But we went on our honeymoon. Let me grab some paper towels. Anyway, we went on our honeymoon. And, you know, to me, being from Louisiana, the lobster just looked like a giant crawfish. So... I would just automatically assume that they cooked it the same way in crab ball, yeah. you know? 
<laughs> nice and spicy and tasty. And so I got one. I had never had that before. And it was the most bland thing. I, you know, I just, I thought, what yeah. do people see in this? <laughs> because I was expecting something nice and spicy, but uh, it definitely was not, so... Oh, Pia was in Louisiana when she was 18. Oh, well, Pia knows about Louisiana food then. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on a 100-pound sack of lobster. Whew. There'd probably only be a few. And we put them suckers in in a big old pot of crab bar with some ta hot t with some taters and corn in there. Usually when you boil crawfish yourself, and actually KB Seafood, they had them. They did it. But they... Uh, they sold it separately, so I didn't get what any. Oh, the, the, uh, yeah, you boil, when you're boiling the crawfish, it's not just water and your seasoning, but you put onions in there, you put, you put ears of corn, mm -hmm. you put uh, little potatoes. Um, some people cook hot dog weenies in them. And, and some, sausage. Some, pop, some people cook sausage in there. This, I'm gonna be doing uh, you put lemons and, and limes and oranges to give it a slight citrus flavor, just very slight. Mushrooms. Put mushrooms in there. Now, I warn you about mushrooms, man. Yeah. I love mushrooms, but that, them doggone, doggone mushrooms suck oh up God. the heat. All right, y'all. I don't know them. I usually make my I make homemade French fries, but I sent. I just decided to do it easy, and I just wanted a little bit of French fries. Look how big a bag. Look how big a bag. Well, it's I didn't know. You sent me to the store. Shopping. A man went to the store. I had to put fish back in the refrigerator because uh, he asked. She asked. She. He asked them how many how many pounds do I need per person, and he's like. They're like, well, how many pieces do you each want? Two or three? And he said, oh, three. So she gave us three fillets per person, and they're that big. <laughs> I've got fish in the refrigerator. Well, we got enough fish. It's better to have too much than not enough. <laughs> we can have fish sandwiches tomorrow. Well, I'm not cooking it all. Time, oh, okay. But I've probably put plenty enough. Yeah, Bob. Bob says Tommy went to the store hungry. Splattering, so. Now somebody said, who was that? Hang on a second. Celtic Nana said the first time she had it was in Quitman, Mississippi. Thought the corn held the heat. Oh, yeah, it, ooh, you got gotcha? you? Yeah, on my bubble. Oh, no. Yeah, the corn definitely holds the yeah, heat. Yeah, corn does hold the heat. Much more so than the potatoes. But not as much as the mushrooms. The mushrooms are the world champions at sucking that heat in. Well, and Tommy says that, he probably don't eat the corn much because, uh. I don't. He doesn't, Tommy's not one that likes hot, hot stuff. And like, even if the crawfish has got too much hot to, heat to it, he doesn't care for them. But um, like these crawfish that he brought home, he probably thinks they're just right. I, they don't even seem hot to me. Yeah. My lips are a little warm for uh, eating the claws. The claws have more heat. <laughs> Sandy Black says, I used to cook for our local yacht club. One of mm -hmm. the special treats we did once in a while was lobsters. Let me tell you, I always felt like lobster was just a way to get the garlic butter in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pia, it's it's canola oil. Uh, the canola oil was actually... See, we've been hanging out with Mike and Tara from Living on a Dime, so I noticed the price, and the <laughs> canola oil was 10 cents cheaper than vegetable oil, so that's what I got. I, I didn't. I, I, you know, my goal would be to do all this in lard, but we just don't have that much lard right now. And so... Um, and we didn't have that much time, and so. I, just, uh, I like to do better, but, and actually, this is leftover oil that I had, that I had strained, so I didn't even open the oil. Oh, okay. So I didn't even, I didn't have fresh oil. Yeah, we don't eat like this all the time, but you know yeah. what? Life on the farm just got real. We do oh, eat yeah. like this occasionally. It's better than going out to eat. That's right. It's better than going out to eat, and uh, we can control the amount of oil, I guess. <laughs> It's okay to treat yourself every now and then. It's for us. Yeah. It's, uh, well, the, the date on that bag, the last time we had fish fried, anything fried, except when we did those, uh, where did you live? I just took the trailer. Just took the The last time we had, uh, that we fried fish uh, on my fish fry bag is November of 2017. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And we have fried, since then, uh, we fried um, onions, uh, blooming onions for Kayla. She wanted blooming onions. And so um, that's the only time, that's the only last two times we fried. So anyway, we don't do that that much anymore. So. All right. All right so I guess. watching French fries. Yeah. Fry. All right. Is so.
I guess we'll uh, we'll let you guys have any more questions. I'll give you one more uh, fi one look at my my final look at my sauce. Maybe watch here. I got. Y'all want to taste it? Now I got it on my finger, huh? Did you hear me? Oh. Watch out you. Here's what's left of the crawdads. Here's what's left of Corey. Tell, tell everybody bye, Corey. Goodbye, everyone. Corey, Corey's Corey, he's in for his famous close-up. <laughs> yes. Y'all, Corey today says, he sends me a text. Hey, am I over my data? Because he said, I can't get anything to load. I can't even get a picture on Instagram to load. And I said, yep, you're just in. When does it reset? And uh, I told him, he says, three days. I said, man, I'm sorry about that. He said, okay, it's all right. I'm, I'm getting to experience what it must have been like in the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> My boy's got jokes. All right, guys. Uh, it's on me now, Corey. You can relax. No, Whoa. it's actually up on the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, it's actually on the ceiling right now. So, Anyway, thank you for joining us here at Alderman Farms and putting up with my poor driving of my new gimbal. <laughs> we appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, oh, did you finish the greenhouse? Yes, yes. I went live earlier. Um, Tommy had uh, hammered, done a, few, done a little bit of work last night, and dark caught him. And so I went, I, did, I actually, no, I did a video. I'm sorry. I did a video. And I uh, finished it up, and then I went live and showed mixing up my soil mix to uh, bed a plant. And if I can get the supper done and eaten quick enough, I'm going to go out there and at least plant some tomatoes. All I'm right. waiting on planting. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you hanging out as always. And we will catch you next time here at Alderman Farms. If you haven't subscribed, do that now, please. We'd appreciate it. Also, if you don't mind giving us a thumbs up, it actually helps our channel. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got comments or questions about what we do here or what we're eating tonight or how can we survive eating crustaceans, <laughs> put it in the comments below after the video is posted and we will see well, wait, you again. One more oh, wait, thing. one I more say thing. That, uh, if if y'all don't already, join us Sunday nights at 8 o'clock yeah. Central. We have a live show. Except talk this Sunday. We have, we've got a con schedule conflict, and so we're probably going live earlier in the day, right? Yeah, but we haven't announced that, so we need to. Anyway, yeah. so it's going to be earlier this Sunday, but typically it's at 8 o'clock on Sunday night central. So um, anyway, if y'all have it before, join us. We'd appreciate it. We talk about what we've done the last week and what we're going to be doing. So. Right. And yeah, so we're going to do some more recapping of the Deep South Homestead Spring mm -hmm. Gathering, I think. Yes, we've got lots to talk about this Sunday night. And when we figure out what time we're going to go live Sunday, we'll, we'll let you know. We'll post a video on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, updating everybody mm -hmm. and um we and need we'll, to do that tonight we need to figure that out yeah tonight. we do we, we need to do that tonight yeah. so by the way if you've already subscribed and you haven't done this click that little bell and go through the process of telling it that you want to get notifications if you do if you want to get notifications mm -hmm. from us and uh youtube's getting a little better about that i think and um, i think they 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 have a vested interest in getting it right so anyway the phone's ringing All and time. And uh, Pete's getting up, so I gotta go take him outside, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye, y'all.